Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another NBA 2K14 My Career Game. It is game two of the first round of the NBA playoffs. Now you're looking for game one, I just didn't bother posting game one. Game one was a blowout. So I decided for um this season's playoffs, since we've already shown two seasons of playoffs, that I'm not going to show every single game because if some games are a blowout, then I just, you know, not really much use. I'm trying to do these playoffs as fast as I can before um 2K15 comes out as well as when Madden 15 comes out. Because when Madden 15 comes out, I don't know how much videos I'm going to be putting up as Chase Budinger trying to hit him up on the lob there but ends up being a turnover for me well um, yeah so that's the deal with that we just come uh, we scored 105 points I think which in six minute quarters is pretty impressive I we were having a baller game from three-point range but now it's like the Nuggets are the team that's balling from three-point range the one big thing you're probably gonna notice and the re big reason why I showed the starting lineup as Fournier hits a shot with a hand in his face is that there's no Ty Lawson Ty Lawson had I don't know what his injury was but he was injured for like four to six weeks or something like that he was out for pretty much the rest of the playoffs there's no way he's coming back for at least the first round so we don't have to worry about Ty for this round and hopefully we could win this round without them but Danny Green is starting at point guard the Nuggets literally did not have another point guard on the roster just like how Andre Bosch got injured we don't have no, another center on our roster that's the way the Nuggets were with Ty so Danny Green's at point guard and there was some three-point cheese going on with Danny Green at point guard kind of like the way Danny Granger does at the power forward spot except he can't knock him down. Danny Green most definitely can. Him and Wesley Matthews. If there was ever a Splash Brothers, those two were the Splash Brothers, all right? They were just jacking up threes. Danny Green would never pass the ball in some possessions. He would just dribble around, bounce, dribble, bounce, dribble, pull up threes. So, you know, that's definitely not easy to guard. We'll try our best, though, as Chase Bunninger pulls up the three. Unfortunately, can't get to go. Trying to get my dude some open looks right now, but they're not really capitalizing. So here we get the steal, and then Darren Collison, a.k.a. the human turnover machine, turns the ball over. Because that's all that happens when Collison runs point. There's a reason why I run point, even though I'm the shooting guard. Because Darren Collison can't. He just can't. I <laughs> see we just pull up the three-pointer, get it to go. We're off to a decent start with points. Trying to get the assists going, but we just need some people to knock down shots. Kind of the way, oh, I believe that's, yeah, Wesley Matthews knocked that down. And here, I try to get the steal on Danny Green. Instead, it's putting them um, in the bonus, so that kind of sucked. And then I go to the bench for like a minute. Score still pretty much stays the same. We're up by one going to half, so we're looking up right here. Oh, we get a 2-0 lead. It's a nice commanding lead, and we go into the Pepsi Center. Pretty much only needing to win one of two, but definitely looking to win both games to get the sweep, so that would be good because it is hard to play in the altitude in Denver, and de especially in the playoffs. That's not going to be easy, and especially if Wesley Matthews is shooting like that, and you know, definitely want to win these games in the Staples Center, man. You know, Staples Center has, even though it's a fairly new st uh, stadium, a uh, stadium building, court, whatever you want to call it, it's still got, the, you know, rich history of Shaq and Kobe playing, Pow and all that stuff, the five championships that have been won here, so definitely want to win for this place. And here, Danny Granger pulling up the three, unfortunately can't get to go, and the first game, like, we pretty much burned up all our, like, good luck or whatever from three-point range as Fournier gets that bucket, because, I mean, we went 21 for 27 or something like that from three-point range, it was pretty unreal, and you see, I just blow a layup here, and it starts another fast break, another Evan Fournier, Fournier versus the entire defense that Evan Fournier wins and gives the Nuggets a three-point lead. So yeah, I mean, we were bound to miss a few, a few open threes in this game. So, I mean, that's that. And then the Nuggets, I don't know, they were just on fire. They took our three-point hot streak and applied it to themselves. So they were just not missing from downtown. I go to the bench again, and now it's a six-point game late in the third quarter. Danny Green taking it all the way to the cup and getting it to go. And now it's an eight-point lead. I'm trying to get some of those points right back, throwing it down over Wesley Matthews. I'm not happy at this point, man. I'm, I'm getting a little bit sick of the way they're spamming us with these threes. And here's freaking the manimal there on the boards, getting the two points after Danny Green misses his shot sorry the fourth quarter kicking it in the corner to bud and me and bud are gonna have to get it going if we're gonna win this game that, that damn takeover then they always like oh take over the game you get free skill points i don't care man i'm just trying to win the game i don't care if i score or someone else scores right i'm just trying to make the best plays possible like that that was the best play possible and now it's a three-point game and then kenneth farid just goes all manimal and i believe andre blosher that just wasn't fair thankfully farid isn't a complete beast so he misses that shot starting a fast break for us i kick it in the corner to collison the human turnover machine but he gives it back to tice so it's not a turnover and then denny tice decides i'm gonna make it a three point shot 
got, and he's got it to go. Danny Tice making it a two-point game with three and a half left. We were in a little bit of danger, but now we're, we're managing the front right now. We're managing the storm. We could have had this game turn into a blowout instead. We're keeping we're keeping pace with them. We're keeping pace, and we need this three to come down for us, and it does. And DJ Augustine ties the game up, and now... It's just who wins the shootout, man? Who wins the shootout? Because both teams are scoring at will right now. You see Wesley Matthews making a backdoor cut. And then Denny Tice dunking over half the Nuggets roster there. Denny Tice is on fire in the second half. Only missing one shot. But so is Danny Green. And I was trying to get there. But I ran into Buddinger. And I got one of those stupid contact things. So I couldn't get there in time. So that sucked. But I'm going to get two of those points right back. One point game. Minute 30 left. Try to get the steal on Danny Green. But instead, that's my fourth foul of the game. So I got to be a little bit careful with the reaching. And then Danny Danny Green, I'm not even reaching, man. I'm telling you, that's what this dude doing. Bounce, bounce, pull up three, and it's hard to guard. Because, you know, you can't, you got to make sure he doesn't beat you off the dribble and all kinds of stuff. But here comes Denny Tice. Oh, that would have been for the lead. Couldn't get that three-pointer to go. I can't believe it, but we get another shot at it. It's a steal button. You're throwing it across his court. Denny Tice over Wesley Matthews. Ties the game up with 29.8 seconds left. And now it's time to come up clutch. First, we need a defensive stop. I'm all over Danny Green. He's not getting any threes. Kenneth Faria at the three-point line. We like that. Anthony Randall holding the ball. Don't really like that. And then Wesley. Matthews for the lead gets it to go Matthews just pulling it up and killing the Lakers faithful here at Staples with that three-pointer and now we don't need the three but we're definitely looking for the three right now 10 seconds left you know Tice is the guy calling for a blotch pick Denny Tice penetrating kicking Buttinger bang Chase Buttinger if Tice isn't the guy you know my second hand man it's Bud baby Bud ties the game up. Big time shot. Now 2.6 seconds left. Can they get a buzzer beater? Matthews. No good. And we're heading to overtime. Wesley Matthews. The immediate trigger. A bunch of bodies all over him. And we're going to overtime and we win the tip Andre Botch winning the tip over Ashik Ashik got traded from the Rockets and now Chase Buttinger the hero at the end of OT couldn't get it to go but we do get the rebound Andre Botch continuing to be a beast and Carlson almost turning the ball over look at this dude you see what I'm saying all he does is turn the ball over but he gets to the Andre Botch good news bad news Botch isn't a good free throw shooter and he misses both free throws in the clutch so that doesn't fare too well for us. And then Chase Buttinger loses the ball. Hits it to Gerald Wallace. And that starts a nugget fast break. Overtime is starting horribly for us. And then I had to pick up my fifth foul. I try to play defense at the rim. And the refs call it a foul. A little bit out of position there. And now I got to be careful or else I foul out the game. And Danny Granger gives us the lead. We got to end this game. We got to get this win for our foul up, man. And look at Danny Green. Try, look, see what I'm talking about, man? When you avoid the three-point shot, he takes you off the dribble. It's hard to guard the man, man. Like, it's just not fair. And here, the bump. Um the Darren Carlson out the Bud, but Bud can't get the three-point to go, and Bud starting to lose his touch in the overtime. Not a good time, too, and then Gerald Wallace knocking down his three-pointer. Now it's a four-point game in overtime. Things are falling apart for us, and now we need Danny Granger to knock this down, and he's got it. Danny Granger with the huge shot. We needed that one, and now it's only a one-point game. Danny Green continuing to try to cheese, but he turns the ball over. Carlson pokes it loose, and Buttinger throwing up the lob. The Tice over Gerald Wallace for the lead. Wow. The Staples Center is in a frenzy. But here comes the Nuggets right back. The pet oh, the Manimal gets us. Kind of my bad. I let Wesley Matthews beat us off the dribble. And now it's a one-point game. We only need the two here. We only need the two. But I'm going for the three to Bud. But Bud can't get it to go. Bud injured the hero in regulation. Might have cost us there by not hitting that open three down. We're trying to get the steal. But we can't get it. And I can't foul Matthews or else I foul out. So Andre Botch goes and fouls him. Being a good teammate at all. And Wesley Matthews misses the first free throw. Didn't expect that. I mean, it would have been a one possession game no matter what happened. But now, he hits the second free throw. And it's only a two point game. So we don't need the three. So, 10.8 seconds left. Um, we don't need a three. We get the three, we win the game. So here we go, Denny Tice holding the ball. You know he's the hero, but you know who my second man hand is just in case. Clock winding down, going in the corner to Buttinger. Buttinger again. Buttinger again. 1.2 seconds left. Chase Buttinger ties the game. And it looks like we might be going to a second overtime. Unless Wesley Matthews. 
can't get it again. Matthews from the same spot in regulation misses in the first overtime, and now there's a second overtime. Puttinger was ice cold in OT, but he hits this big time shot, and now we're playing in the second overtime. Me with my five fouls, giving it to Andre Blotch, and Blotch going to the line. Thankfully, he at least knocks down one free throw. But I gotta be careful, man. I really can't foul out right now. And we can't play a third overtime, guys. Can't fell out, and this is hard. It's hard to, you know, try to play some sort of defense and chase Bunning during the corner. Bud's got it, and a Bud can knock down a shot or two. We're good. Chase Buttinger has been monumental, but there's Wesley Matthews fading away. Not much I can do there if he's gonna pull up that fade away. Oh well, man. Oh well. And here, look at Granger in the corner calling for it. Danny Granger can't get buckets. That would have given us the lead with a minute and a half to go. Instead, the Nuggets with a chance to take the lead. Danny Granger trying to pull it up in the corner to Wallace and Gerald Wallace knocking down his threes. And now the Nuggets back on top again. We always have to make these comebacks, man. I don't know we have another one in us. Shot clock winding down. Danny Tice going to the rim. Gotta put something up. And Tice getting it to go. Tice not scoring a lot in overtime, but we get that one. And here, Del Danny Tice getting the ball loose. And it's off on them. I'll I'll take it. I'll take it. Now a chance to take the lead. Buttinger one more time. Chase Buttinger. Are you serious? Buttinger's got ice water in his veins. Second overtime. Second three. But here come the Nuggets right back. Only to get blocked. Trying to tie the game. The Manimal gets rejected by Andre Blotch. And now it's dagger time. It's dagger time. We hit one shot. We get the dagger on him. So, you know, I'm looking for the shot. But I've been pretty passive in overtime, man. So, he could be anybody. It could be anybody. It could be Buttinger again. It could be Blotch. It could be Darren Carlson wide open, but Carlson can't get it. Nuggets call timeout with 7.2 seconds left, down two points, needing to get a shot, or they could just hit the three and win this game. So double OT. Who's got the ball? It's Wesley Matthews. No three-pointers. I let him drive to the rim. It's blocked. Three blocked. And it's a game over. Two blocks in the paint by Danny Granger. And we we come through in double overtime. This game was destined for triple overtime, but we get the win. I couldn't let Matthews get the three. He drove by me, but then Danny Granger just tremendous defense. Game winning defense. Championship potentially winning defense. And now we go up 2-0 in a hard fought game. So hope you guys leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more 2K14 micro games, and I will catch you guys next time.